So this is the current setup of the car with the K tune shifter. It's pretty good, honestly speaking. It it's a great shifter when you're driving, but my issue was I had to cut up the center console, and so far everything looks everything is decent. But I have a black center console that I don't want to you know have to cut, so. I'm gonna try to switch this out for another unit. Like I stated, the problem I was having is doing the upper one, two, and five gears, it would hit right here. So I'm gonna try this new shifter and see if it makes a difference. So I will be installing this unit. Uh, to see if it clears, see if I have the same shifting issues as the K-Tune version, but so far I don't think I will. Hopefully, hopefully that is. But I do like how this one looks. Actually, I like both of them, so this may go on my daily, and I'm gonna try this one because it looks a little smaller to see if it works and helps. Take this JDM center console out the way. Throw this in the back. Then you grab this one. I already took all the screws out. Uh, so make sure. And just slowly take it out. Finagle this portion out. Huh. Do I have to move this? I don't remember. Yes, I think I have to move this due to the shifter. Mm, maybe not. Come on, work with me. Work with daddy. Yeah. So, let me finagle this. Good. I was able to get it out without having to take it apart. So, I'm throw this over. Nah, throw this in the back. So, take these out. Take this out. And reinstall this. Hopefully, this makes it able to just sit a little, a little neater. Okay, now I just gotta take this one, take this out. This is a I'm gonna take the screw out on this side for the K-Tune unit. And where is that Allen key? This clip is very important, so please don't lose this. So now I'm just gonna loosen up the shifter and take the whole unit out. So these are the mounting hardware from Acuity. It gives it a little stiffer feel at the base. So these are the comparison between both. So hmm. This one is a little a lower profile shifter compared to the K-Tune, the hybrid was a little low profile. So I'm hoping this just right here will give me enough of a clearance so I don't have to cut the center console. But I got it, it does look good. So. This looks promising. Seems as if the frame pushes the cables a bit more forward than the K2 version, so maybe this will clear underneath. But let's throw it in and see what's going on. So I'm just setting everything up 
slide it in, see more or less where everything fits up. And yeah, doesn't seem too bad. So I'm just gonna tighten this down. Then I'm gonna slide these cable in. As I said, it seems as if this is pushing the cable forwards a little bit. So I have to go underneath the car and adjust the section where these cables are mounted. So I could just basically slide it in and out but with less stress. So this side is in, it went in fairly simple. Um, the bottom one is a little bit different because instead of mounting straight up like the normal ones, it mounts to the side like that. Now I'm just gonna tighten this up, put this clip in for this side, and I think we'll be good enough to test them out. So right here, there's you need one of those little C clips that goes over a lot this in place, or one of these cutter pins like these style to secure over here. I have to actually, I lost mine, so I have to go get another one. But for right now, I should still be able to test it because this won't be able to move so just gotta put this up put this put this clip in and that will secure everything into the unit not the most fascinating install but it's a pretty simple okay that's done and that's how it look I get this clip See if this one's a little easier to get on. Nope, still, still a struggle. Yeah. Well, at least I could turn this one, I believe. There we go. You know what? Let me use both hands instead of messing stuff up. Oh, the new shifter is in. It does sit a little lower than the K K Stone version, but it's still touching right here. It's less than the K2 version, but it's still hitting. But the good thing about this one is, look, I'll be able to fit this without having to cut all of this off. So I'm gonna redo this plate, this mounting plate. Probably, you know, get a small one, cut it in half somewhere, and then see if I could get, uh, see if that will give me enough clearance to where it doesn't even touch anything. But it looks like this unit will fit a little bit more compact versus the K2 version. So everything's back together. So I guess that plate is really what I gotta adjust now. And then I should be good, I'm hoping. But that's the next issue. But for right now, this does fit a lot better than the K2 unit. It's a little bit more narrow and a little sleeker so it falls down. The K2 version was actually hitting on this bezel section. So right now with this one, once I lower, once I get a new plate and drop it down, say maybe like half an inch, it should take all the tension off of this, and I should be able to drop a factory, the factory black one I have, center console on this, without having to cut it up. on we all know, black interior for this car, very hard to find, and you try to keep it in the original shape as possible. So got the gauge pods for these which I do like just gotta get one more holder for this one or if I just wait until I get the the fuel tech unit just put it up here and I can just delete this one I'm still keeping these because I just like how they look and just keep the fuel tech right here that's that's the plan for the, for the new motor build transmission and then you know have the fuel tech to run all that so I should be able to get rid of this one soon. Put it here. And just, you know, put something. So I might get get the digital one. Put it here to match. And just use the fuel tech here. Just so it looks good. But so far, I'm liking how everything is coming together. So I'm going to clean up. Starting to exhaust. And maybe I could be able to drive this car today. Mm -hmm. So that's the shifter. 
how it sits, how everything is in there. Car's looking like a car again. So, got her running for a little bit. Uh, the battery was dead, of course. So I'm just charging it up. I show that she still runs. I didn't take it apart that much. Okay. I live inside my own world of make-believe.